The day when open grazing is supposed to stop in southern Nigeria is here, but only a few states have enacted laws to that effect. This could be as a result of the division the issue has caused between the north and the south. Plus TV Africa's Jacinta Obuko reports. Forum set the timeline of Wednesday, the 4th of September, 2021, for the promulgation of the anti grazing law in all its member states. Anti-open, sorry, anti-open grazing law. The governors of Nigeria's 17 southern states resolving to ban open grazing across the region by September the 1st. September the 1st has come and six states, Bayelsa, Rivers, Oyo, Ekiti, Abia and Ondo have complied with the decision to enact the law banning open grazing of cattle. Governor Oluwa Orotimi Akeredolu of Ondo State signed his state anti-open grazing bill into law on Tuesday. The government did not return Plus TV Africa's request for an interview. Fewer issues have divided southern Nigeria and Abuja as much as the plan to ban open grazing. Analysts believe that could be a reason why most states in the region are yet to walk the talk. In Imo State, Governor Hope Ozodema recently said a law has been in existence since 2006 that ensures farmers and herders live together in peace. This has brought a lot of controversial reactions, but the governor believes his statement was grossly misinterpreted and the state commissioner for information explains. The distributed grazing of cattle in restricted areas like residential areas, commercial areas, and so on. So, but then there are still some areas that are uh, not, uh, not covered by the law. So what the government uh, did was to bring the headers and farmers in the state to a roundtable discussion. And I agreed on modalities to coexist peacefully, and it's working for us. What is important is that there is peace in the state between the two groups. I don't see how that... Uh, some headers consider the collective decision to ban open grazing in southern Nigeria a bad idea, but the Mieti Ala Katsu Breeders Association has on its own asked for more time so that they can put alternative plans in place. The rest of Nigeria now has to wait to see what happens if cattle stray into states with the law already in place. Jacinta Ubiuku for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.